So this week on Saving a Dead Channel, I have a Fostex CDDA BWF recordable uh, CD burner slash player. It's a professional series of sorts. Um, got a lot of buttons, a lot of gizmos and gadgets. I was going to do a quick little overview of some of the cool things that this thing can do. Um, including also, you guessed it, recording a CD. So we'll go ahead and fire this thing on. Let's see what we get. Drive initialization, which is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and tell you right now. It's basically just got a standard CD burner, which you can hear inside of a classic or you know, inside of a rack mount case. Uh, you yeah, know, which is pretty interesting. Not something that I would imagine they would do, but basically they just kind of source the drive. And I haven't taken it apart yet, but I would assume if you wanted to, you could probably just replace that drive with another one if that drive ever were to go out, making this thing pretty much, like, reusable. So, yeah, there you go. That's pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and hit play on CD. I already got a uh, CD loaded in there, just some uh, kind of royalty free, kind of, we'll see. Thing's pretty cool. Uh, basically, you have the ability to name your CDs, select different track spacing, get a whole, a whole menu of different things. Of course, uh, the CD has to be uh, not playing in order to get to anything. So that's another thing that's pretty cool about this is uh, basically how it how it works is is almost like a like a tape deck machine, kind of like a reel to reel, uh, where almost imagine it had a playhead and you were skimming through the tape trying to find wherever the section you were at. Hit play, fast forward, rewind. Which, you know, actually rewinds it the way like a tape would versus, uh, you know, like if, usually most CD players, when you hit rewind, it just kind of skips back. Like it kind of, it takes away some parts of the, uh, the data in order to skip and kind of, it sounds kind of disjointed. While this is all seamless. Another thing that's cool about the uh, the stopping procedure on this is, although you hit stop, it doesn't directly make your CD player go back to track one or beginning of the song. It'll remember right where it's at until you hit play, which if you notice, it's almost instant. Of course, you also have different display options. The access light over here basically is showing the uh, the read write of the CD. And of course, your more traditional CD player options. You have play mode, so play all. I guess that's something that you have to uh, have the C player stopped on. So I'm going to stop that. There we go. So you yeah, have single play, program play. You have a different memory option selection to choose from. 
for repeat, you got your, yeah, repeat, uh, or, or repeat off, and then your independent analog level controls for your headphones, level input, and also the USB keyboard, which is pretty interesting. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. What's cool about this is essentially you can plug a standard, no, you know, not a specific name brand or anything, just your typical keyboard and control it just like that. So you're able to get to your menu information. So you could type. This is a test. There you go. So you don't have to sit here and fiddle with the buttons and try old school typing like back in the day. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's something that you don't really see much on uh, almost any CD player, really, other than some higher end rack mount stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then, there you go. Uh, clear back out of that. You also have all controlling here, so if you want to exit out, you can exit. No big deal.